Hey, this is Charlie. Today we're gonna do a fast route, and this is one of the fastest routes I've ever seen. I've rode my, my device before, but this is one of the fastest routes I've ever seen. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is to download the necessary files on there on the, onto your computer, and we're gonna hook up. Um, we're gonna hook up the phone to the computer and start the process. It should take at least maybe probably four or five minutes to do, and let's go ahead and do that. I'll put all the links of all what you need down below so check it out down below and let's do it i'd like you guys to know i'm not an expert i'm just a user like i always said and um or, you know rooting your device can break your device it can break it it can you lose your warranty and all that kind of good stuff um i'm just gonna take a chance and do it i'm following the guys on xda there's a guy on xda um that has a it's called a, a cf root from chain fire and actually i'm gonna f i'm gonna follow and i'll put the link of all that below i'm gonna follow um ob king 77 he's really good in you know in explaining exactly how to do it and he's the one i'll be following to do my routine method i have a t-mobile a t-mobile phone samsung galaxy note so um right here you can see uh you can download i'll, I'll put all the information down there for you in my below that you can walk through it it's a really simple process it's it's gonna take you less than uh four minutes to do it it's really 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 simple and so let's just go ahead and start the process and i hope i can walk you through it and i will also send you the link of the xda guys and also of odb king thanks to him for doing that make uh, a new folder on there uh, just to make sure you know where your stuff is i'm going to call it root root one open it up and i'm going to go to my download area those free files into that new folder that you made there that's basically there so that you know that that's where you have it so the next thing you want to do is to right click and run as, as the admi administrator and you're going to say yes and this is going to open up so you so when that's when that open you're going to you're going to click on onto that pda file right and you're going to find that that cf auto root file that you had in your in your root folder that you created and you're going to click on it and and open it so there you go it's open and it's there now you want to go to your phone so you're going to what you're going to do right now is you're going to power off you're going to power off your device power it off and you're going to bring your device into audit mode or download mode after that's done and the way you're going to do that is you're going to hold down your volume home and power button at the same at the same time So your device is up off so you're gonna hold down your volume down power and home button all at the same time and that's gonna put your phone into download mode and there you go and then to continue you're gonna click volume up so you're gonna press um a volume up and your phone gonna go into download mode and that's where you're gonna plug your device into the computer. So you take your computer cord and you're gonna plug it in. So you're in download mode, you're gonna plug in your, your device and that yellow bar should come up. Make sure that yellow bar is up, is up there. And right here, you're gonna click start And you're gonna see that status bar start to move showing that everything is working okay also there's a blue line going across a blue bar going across on your phone it's gonna say pass it's in recovery mode it's downloading all its files and doing it doing what it's supposed to do it's gonna reboot in 10 seconds that's what it says right there it's, it's a really simple process it takes less than psh, three four minutes here we go it's rebooting you 
can see that right down here on the computer and everything is passed zero fail and it's starting apps and update type and time and date you're not gonna lose any any of your programs or anything on there everything is done you're basically rooted and what you want to do uh, if you go into your if you go into your apps your app draw oh there we go so you see you have super super user is there which means that uh, you say grant So you have super user right here and that's where you want to go into into the store and download a root a root checker I'm gonna install that so right here we can see the device has been root uh, but a little more. So it was a success. The the routing process was so a success. So one of the first thing you want to do when after after you root is to go and to download Titanium Backup. Titanium Backup root, and that's uh, an app or a program that allow you to erase, get rid, backup your device. And it's it's a real real it's a really good backup program. So we're gonna download it and start using it. So here we are with Titanium backup and I'm gonna grant it access. And it's gonna check. It's gonna take your device, it's gonna load all the different stuff. That's a free version and if you want it it's also a pro version and you can there you can always back up tighten the backup users support your friends blah 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 blah, blah. you dismiss that so basically it, it, it gives you all the programs on your device so for example something like let's see if I can find you, you, like right now I can basically uninstall that Uh, let's install it. Let's all install it. Bam! You're getting rid of that. Um, T Mobile TV, which I'll never watch, or I'll never use. Let's get rid of it. This is why you root your phone. To get rid when of you all that. You want to save crap. as much space on your phone as possible. Travel wallpaper, all those things there. I'm um, advise. You know, yesterday I tried to, I tried to, I thought that was just a, a app that, that was on there, but T-Mobile actually put that crap on there and want you to use it. Basically, they want to force it down your throat. 